Apsaras spent nearly four years with Lama Inja, and then Lama Inja had become a patriarch and went on to Madana, while Apsaras traveled again northward. Apsaras traveled into Tulangizet, a small nation to the north of Tibet. Apsaras stayed in this country three years, there writing the Tolzomini, or the Book of Spirits. Sura 1. The first spirit is power, which comes from the east and is a blinding light. Sura 2. The second spirit is intelligence, it comes from the west and is a burning fire. Sura 3. The third spirit is wisdom, it comes from the north and is as bright as the sun. Sura 4. The fourth spirit is love, it comes from the southeast and it warms you all over. Sura 5. The fifth spirit is justice, it comes from the south and is a blue light. Sura 6. The sixth spirit is beauty, it comes from the southwest and illuminates everywhere. Sura 7. The seventh is principle, it comes from the northwest, it burns brightly. Sura 8. The eighth is eternity, it comes from everywhere, it is all light. Sura 9. The ninth spirit is good, it comes from within and shines outward. Sura 10. The tenth spirit is humanity, it comes from the northeast and shines everywhere. Sura 11. Power goes out from Aradia and comes to everything, and how this power is used and received will determine the outcome of all programs. Sura 12. Intelligence is natural in all things, but how it is used determines the outcome of all pre-represented plans. Sura 13. Wisdom is the results of using intelligence and power wisely. Sura 14. Love is what was manifested of Aradia to Aradia and experienced by the power, the intelligence, and controlled by wisdom. Sura 15. Justice is from the results of wisdom and intelligence brought on by love and right power. Sura 16. Beauty is held by power through intelligence and wisdom, by love made of justice. Sura 17. Principle is heightened by justice through intelligence, wisdom, beauty, and love held by power. Sura 18. Eternity is held in place by the virtues of beauty, love, intelligence, wisdom, justice, and power. Sura 19. Good is eternal by the power of love, intelligence, wisdom, justice, beauty, and principles. Sura 20. Humanity is found in good through the principles of intelligence, wisdom, and justice held together through beauty by right power. Sura 21. Power is by this sign. Surah 22, intelligence is by this sign, found in book. Surah 23, wisdom is by this sign, found in book. Surah 24, love is by this sign, found in book. Surah 25, justice is by this sign, found in book. Surah 26, beauty is by this sign, found in book. Surah 27, principle is by this sign, found in book. Surah 28, eternity is by this sign, found in book. Surah 29, good is by this sign, found in book. Surah 30, humanity is by this sign, found in book. Surah 31, the spirits are within. Only you can put them without and carry their signs, lest you lose them. The book of Wai Ang Tse, Yen Ti. Apsaras left to Langizet and traveled further north to the Masacha tribes, and there wrote the Yung Tse, or the book of utterances and speeches. Surah 1, if I hold out my hand toward you, Will I have to hold it in vain? Will you utter from your mouth or place gold in my hand? Do I hold out my hand in vain? Surah 2, my feet are sore. May I bathe them in thy pool and rest in thy shade? Surah 3, shall I abstain from poison for your benefit? Shall I die from this cup that thou may sayeth? Thou hast drank it in my social order. Surah 4, shall I perish for the government or flee to the desert? If thou fight not, why cry for me to fight? Can I not flee to the desert? Surah 5. I am tired. Can I sleep with thy animals, drink from the well, and eat the fruit of your old barren trees? I seek not a bed or thy floor of thy house, or to drink from thy cup, or to eat in the presence of thy household, for I am but a weary traveler without gold or salt. Surah 6. I am deaf, but I can hear thy presence. I can hear thy presence within my soul. Can I not hear within your soul? Who say you, I hear not in my soul? Doth thou precede me? Don't you knowest whether I hear in my soul or not? Sura 7. If I am tired, will you rest with me, or walk a strange way and leave me? If you hurry along, will the task be over? Then say what it gains you. Let us then travel and rest together, that when the task is complete, we shall both gain by it. Sura 8. 
If I speak to deaf ears or a stubborn head, wilt thou know even so what I said? Can you shut me out and not know thy own thoughts or the commands to thy own self? Surah 9. If my lot is hard, can you lessen it? Give me not your words of wisdom without first extending the arms to upright and unburden my load. Surah 10. Advice is free, but material things are worthless without the wisdom of another to advise how to hold them. Surah 11. Speech of Hai Ho Tamaha at Yitzil to the working class. You work hard toiling thy life away, yet if thy had a palace, a feast, a bed of silk and fine wine, what would you do to while away your time? You talk of your unhappiness, of how hard you work, what little rewards you get for your work, and how the rich get richer, and how the poor get poorer. What do you proceed to do to better your lot? If you better your lot and become rich, how will you carry your gold and silk in death? Why obtain silver and gold to leave behind of thy death? Can you not be justified by your work, by what you have, for you to leave nothing upon your death, that thieves come into the night and steal of from your kinsmen? Or shall your kinsmen die in the attempt to save this gold, and it does no one any good, and the thief returns to life a lower form? Be you glad in your heart that you eat, that you have warm blankets, warm clothes, and shelter upon your head? There are those who have not even this, and there are those that though they have more, are they happier than you? Doth money put thee on a high place, or make thee king? There are poor kings and rich slobs. There are rich thieves and well-mannered paupers. What say you? Wilt gold and silver change you? I speak not saying, better you not, alas, rise up out of your squandered conditions. But let not another become a stepping stone to your throne, or let not you help your brother also, or at least not forget your condition, as it had been also. It is better to work for your bread than to steal from a stranger for it and lose your soul, or be rich, knowing there are those that suffer, because thou be rich from their mistakes, from their toil, their suffering. If you can become rich, help your brothers on the way, and your efforts wilt not be in vain. Surah 12, I utter not, for I have nothing to say. Surah 13, I walk away to the forest to escape mankind. Can I escape myself? Surah 14, what say be a rich man or a poor man? Doth silver and gold or the absence of it change one? Surah 15, Homic Pole on bettering your life, excerpts of his speech to his students. The man that sits and dreams of his palace in a squalor and raises not his self up or puts a tool in hand to begin the building of that palace is only a dreamer. The first order to better your life is to place one hand in front of the other with tools in each. The way to the top of anything is up and you cannot get up while staying down or without the effort of getting up from being down. If you are satisfied that you are better where you are now, then you cannot better your life. What better a man of his life but to do his best at every task or with each task find a better way of doing it. Surah 16. Shall I not awaken in the morning and be happy that I have awakened, or shall I complain I could have slept forever? Surah 17. He who falls into the pit and makes no effort to get out, let him stay in the pit and help him not. Surah 18. If I utter not a word, do I communicate? Do I have to utter from my mouth to communicate? Surah 19. Can I be silent and still speak with my thoughts? Surah 20, he who puts froth all his efforts has nothing else to put forth. Surah 21, if you invite me to your abode and then bar my entrance, why have you put forth your energy to invite me that my energy become wasted? Surah 22, one must first crawl before one can learn to walk. Surah 23, what you can do today, put not off for the morrow, for the morrow puts off for itself. Surah 24, patience is the virtue of wisdom and understanding. Surah 25, if you are not comfortable in my presence, you have two feet to travel on. Or if you have not two feet, you have voice, and I have two feet, then speak, and I will move on. Surah 26. A man who shouts at you in the road for being too slow, does he not know to go around you? Perhaps he too is too slow in thought. Surah 27. Always stop and help a stranger in need, lest ye also become a stranger in need, and also need help. Surah 28. He that hath eyes, let him see. And he that can hear, let him hear. He that hath a tongue, let him speak. For the blind see not, the deaf hear not, and the mute speak not. Enjoy what thee hath. Surah 29, I am not old, for age precedes me. I can never catch up with it. Surah 30, how do I proceed which I have never experienced, or how can I receive experience without first trying? Surah 31, I proceed to stay mute, then utter nonsense. Surah 32, 
If I have nothing to do but sleep, then why deny me that sleep? Surah 33, why put off the things of the morrow which can be done today? Surah 34, can you understand that which you know nothing whatsoever about, neither as a witness or a participator? Or can you condemn or deny the right of existence of that which you know nothing about, either as a witness or a participator? I know nothing about you. Shall I condemn you then? For there are those that spoke ill of you? Is it permissible to deny you your rights, your beliefs, or your existence, because others spoke of you in an ill way? If I knew you, and you were the ill person that has been said of you, do I have the right to condemn you? Should I perceive myself as being above all? Am I not to be understood? Am I not above reproach? Am I not a witness to my own faults? I will not proceed to condemn anyone without first condemning myself. Surah 35, set not yourself away from the world, for without you and I there would be no world or the use of it. Surah 36, if I choose to live alone and deny others, that is my right, but if I deny that right to others, I have no rights myself. Surah 37, I am within myself and proceed in my own way. You cannot change me unless I wish to be changed, or can you have me to another way, without that recourse being mine? You may force me through torture to bend to your will, but this does not precede me, either do I go this way. For when I am free of you, I shall return to the existence that is comfortable to me. Surah 38, you call me foul names. You steal my worldly goods and turn others against me. I have done you no harm. I have tried to help you. Why have you therefore condemned me? If you are guilty of your own wrongs, judge yourself and punish your own self, but condemn me not. For I do not precede what you have done, neither would I condemn you for my own wrongs, therefore do not condemn me for yours. Surah 39, from a speech by Dr. Sai Lamama Shak to the people of Louis Tang, you say you have nothing to do. You say times are bad. You say you do not know where to turn. I say to you, what holds you here? Can you not put one foot before the other and leave this place? Can you not also turn toward each other? Can you not entertain amongst yourselves? Even a person alone can find something to do, even inside of a darkened cave. Turn within yourselves and you will find both the answers and the escape which you seek. Surah 40. Politicians and loud mouths sleep in the same bed, eat at the same table, walk the same path, and tell the same lies. I'm glad I'm a nobody. I sleep alone, I eat alone, and I walk down the path I choose. Leave folly to fools. Surah 41. He who talks a lot lasts longer, but he that never utters a word lives in vain. Surah 42. I can never relax if my fellow man cannot relax. Also, I shall constantly strive to work for my fellow man so we can relax together.